Good afternoon, everybody. Today's date is 8-11-2015. The time, Pacific Standard Time, it's 12 o'clock p.m. And what we're going to be talking about today is the uh, monthly chart on the Dow and that we are going to be going a lot lower. And so what we see right now on this monthly level, we've been in this long-term uptrend. But let's deal with right now. Right now on this monthly chart, you can see where the peak of this month, then a little bit lower peak and a little bit lower peak. Now, the previous month here is what we call a narrow range. It's called a doji in their world of technical analysis. And then we're closing below this blue line right here and that is the 10 month moving average on the Dow Jones uh, intraday um, movement today on the Dow um, was pretty big and basically what I am going to take a look at here is the following one of the things that we're going to show that in the calendar month of July 1st we had a total movement in the Dow of 737 points in the calendar month of July to the end of the calendar month of July. So you got the first and the last and whatnot. So basically this month here started 8-1 and it's 8-11. It already has a 425.68 range of volatility that we have called for. And not only that, that that bull, that bear, was going to be in an extreme mode of what? It was going to be extreme um, in the price movement. And, you know, that's how the bear and the bull, they work. But we are telling everyone from a monthly view is, is that we're going to go lower. And there is all the reasons why. And normally... We do daily and weekly charts, but this is the most one that's relevant. And you can see where that rising 10-month moving average, you can see the failure of it. You can see the resistance of it. There were other times where that 10-month and that 20-month were just going up really nice. And that was the greatest move right then. Sorry. Those moves are going to go lower. And this, once again, is the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is definitely in trouble. And so we can say one thing for sure, that um, the red line is a 20-month moving average at 171.98. So on that Dow, you can see it, and that is going to come into play, and we're not that far away from it. It's right there at 17,198. That's the value of a 20-month moving average that this Dow has not tested for a considerable amount of time, and now if we're going to break this down, I just want to show one last time, my friends, check it out. That was the high. This is how we started. This was February, March. We came down. We popped. We sold off. You can see the highs here. One, two, three. And of course, uh, uh, this is going to be the fourth uh, lower high and we're going to have some support level uh, any volatility up is going to be a sell like I said for the next four to six weeks uh, these markets are going to go lower and once again um, it's just the way that it is and, and it's time for people to listen and if you don't listen well guess what um you're going to have to ride these things down lower. And who knows if they return or not. I mean, economically around the world, things don't look that great because they don't. And 
the Chinese markets and uh, emerging markets. Uh, it's all part of one big process. The earnings calendar. Uh, how is the S&P 500 stocks going to uh, get that uh, earnings yield out of China? They're not. And so the thing about it is, is, is that this has been a long run. And it's over. And it's going to take time. But every top does take time. They can take up to 24 months. Um, that's what we're calling for in year 2015 and part of 2016 is where we are going to go through the calendar. Uh, this is the dog days of August for you people that have not been listening. As far as us bringing this to your attention, and we have, and we have talked about um, what these markets are going to do. And we do have the weeklies in here, and we did get oversold, and we did have a pop-up, and then we did roll over Beethoven. And you know what? The most important thing is to understand that you can get what you need to get, and you can get into our market maker programs that we have to offer. And that's right down here. If you want to open up a trading account, you're welcome to do it. We do provide trading capital. Money is not easy to get right now. Consider us, this is a gift because people don't give out that money. You're not going to go to a bank. It takes money to make money, and then we'll supply you with the orders. Yes, we will. Um, this last quarterly report um, in July has ran the course. Of course, we're going to have the October of course, we're going to have, um, we are going to have, and here's the latest video that we did, and after hours trade on Google, it went straight up and still continues to go higher. So you know. Um, do yourself a favor and go ahead and take the free five-day trial. You want to open an account? Open an account. If you want to get started today? Click that. We're more than... Uh, Welcome to you to come here. So you click on the free trial tab. That's all right here. Um, get involved now while you can. And I'm going to conclude the monthly Dow Jones. And here is what I am saying. And I've said this once. I've said it twice. I've said it three times. This is the last time. We are going to kick up the volatility on this monthly chart. And it will be seen in the daily charts. And it will be seen in the weekly charts. It will be seen in every chart time frame that it will. This is a longer picture on that monthly. And this 10 day, I mean the, the 10 months and the 20 months are right here in the, in the month of August. Right here. Go below it, and there's that. That's that doji reversal. Once again, stay tuned. We care about all of you. If you want to get some uh, trading ideas, enter the free trial.